Start off by just uh, telling us how you think your your offensive line has really kind of gelled this fall so far. I think, you know, playing really physical. Uh, we got a lot of guys that are rotating in and getting reps right now because we think we got a lot of guys that can help us, you know. Uh, <clears throat> in the past years that I've been here, we haven't really had that. But this year we have a lot of depth, especially at the tackle position. You know, Oscar can play tackle and guard, so we've been switching him out and stuff. And I think it's coming together. You know, we're good friends off the field. That's one of the most important things for our line is, you know, being friends with everybody, not just uh, – uh, playing together, but you know, being around each other off the field too. Talk about Larry Banks. Larry, Larry put some a lot of work in this summer to, to really step his game up. Talk about his play so far this fall. Yeah, uh, he's been really good. You know, Larry's one of those guys that's got great feet, great hands. You know, he really committed this summer. Lost a good bit of weight. You know, probably lost twenty, you know, thirty pounds or so, and looks really good out there. And uh, you know, you just got to keep coming every day out to work, you know, and being consistent with everything he's doing, and uh, he's going to have a spot to play for, for sure. When Jordan Mills strained his hammy the first practice, it's almost like the, the line really didn't even miss a beat. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, Jordan is the guy that's played a lot of games, and, you know, obviously we miss his veteran leadership out there and everything, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we got guys that can come in and play, you know, we feel like uh, we've got about eight guys that, you know, we can rotate in and out if we need them, and, uh, and that's how we're going to roll this year. You're in the really unique position. You might be the only center in the country that's actually calling the cadence pre-snap. How has that kind of changed your role on the field and, and helped the team? Uh, well, sometimes the line doesn't like it very much because, you know, when we get in blitzes and stuff, sometimes I hold it and, you know, with the snap count, you got to have a rhythm to it and everything. And we try to keep that going, but sometimes we get into a thing where I'm trying to call it a blitz or something and we get messed up. But it helps us go quicker, you know. We're not waiting on a quarterback to make 1,500 calls and then call the snap count too. You know, as soon as he's ready to go, we're ready to go. And, uh, you know, so I think it helps us with our tempo and everything like that, and I think it helps uh, keep the D linemen from jumping our snap. You know, a lot of times when they get a quarterback's rhythm down and you're using the same snap count over and over again, you know, they can get that jump on you on the outside especially. But uh, with our snap count, we have a bunch of different counts that we go on, so it kind of keeps them off guard. Before you started calling the cadence, have you ever heard of a center calling the, the, the count? Uh, not really. I mean, I've, I've heard of, you know a lot of guys in the NFL go on silent counts and things like that where they don't say anything, but uh, I've never heard of just a, a, another center doing it. Maybe like somewhere – I, I want to say West Virginia does it. I've seen, I've seen some of their games, and it doesn't look like the quarterback says anything. So either they're going on silent or he's calling.